let's look at a few more examples of finding the trig equation of a graph. Okay, so we're told consider the graph of f of x equals sine x minus a for x is an element of negative 180 degrees to 180 degrees given below. Determine the value of a. Okay, so this is nice because they, you, the only parameter that you need to find is a. And we know that if we add or subtract a value to x, it means that it's, it represents a horizontal shift. Okay, and if we are subtracting from x, we move to the right. And if we add a value to x, we move to the left. Okay, so we are also told by this given equation that we are dealing with a sine graph. Okay, so that will help you if you understand the basic sine graph, then you can compare the two. Okay, so the basic sine graph sits at 0, 0, goes to 91, sorry, um, yeah, 90 and then 180 degrees 0 and negative 90, 0 and then goes up. Okay, so it shouldn't be so sharp cornered, but you get the idea. So what we can see is looking at our peaks, the peak has been shifted to the left by 30 degrees. Okay, so if I'm shifting to the left, I'm going to be adding to x. So what I need in the bracket is x plus 30 degrees. Okay, so that means if I compare f of x equals sine x minus a, if I know that that should be sine x plus 30 degrees, then what is the a value? a is negative 30. Okay, because minus negative 30 is plus 30. Second example, consider the graph of g of x equals cos bx for the given domain given below. Determine the value of b. Okay, so here they've told us it's a cos graph and b as the coefficient of x means that the period has been altered. Okay, so for a cos graph our period is 360 degrees divided by the value of b. Okay, so looking at the graph, to determine the period of the graph, we need to see how long it takes for the graph to complete a full mountain and a full valley. Okay, now typically a cos graph starts with, okay, if we look at starting from the y-axis, we have half a hill, then we have a full valley, and then another half a hill to complete the hill and the valley. Okay, so this covers a span or period of 180 degrees. So if the period of this graph is 180 degrees, what am I dividing by to get to 180 degrees? I'm dividing by 2. So that means B equals 2. A third example, consider the graph of h of x equals c tan x plus d for the given domain and determine the value of c and d. Now c is in the position where we normally have a, which represents the amplitude for a sine or cos graph. Of course a tan graph doesn't have an amplitude, but the a value comes from the distance between the graph and the midline of the graph at the significant point 45 degrees, okay? And then the D value represents our vertical shift, okay? So if a vertical shift exists, it's one of the easiest parameters to find, okay, if you can find the midline. So we need to, alt um, we need to determine the midline of this given tan graph, okay? Now, remember the midline is where the graph would change concavity, if you like, okay? So, it goes there, it would concave down, continue concave down. If we look at this part, you could think of it as going concave up again, okay? So, where it changes concavity is where our midline passes through. So, that means our midline is now sitting at negative 1. 
the midline for the tan graph is normally sitting on the x-axis. So that means it has shifted down by one unit. And if we shift down, we are subtracting a value. So that means that D is negative 1. Okay, so then we see that for the C value, which is our normal A value, it's the distance between the graph and the midline at 45 degrees. Okay, and we see that the distance there is 1, 2 units. So, sorry, I'm writing A. That should be the C value is 2. So D equals 1 and C equals 2.